Three. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to another video with your girl, Siobhan. Thank you so much for clicking on another video and joining me today for this massive Walmart grocery haul. I have stuff stacked on top of stuff, guys. It's stuff everywhere. So I do want to say that the kids today were like, I've been, I've been putting off doing a Instacart for a minute because Instacart will deliver from Aldi, but they won't deliver from Walmart. And I really wanted to stock up on some stuff from Walmart. So I said, you know what? Let me just go to the store, get it done. Because today, like I had, um, I had like one half of, of the meal, if you must say. So I had eggs, but no sausage or bacon. I had, um, oatmeal, but the kids were like, I don't want that. I couldn't make any toast or, you know, I ran out of bread. I ran out of milk. So <sighs> this morning was a struggle. And like I said, I, I've been putting off doing another Instacart also because I was supremely disappointed in them last time. But neither here nor there. So I went to Walmart. Kinsley and I went to Walmart. She was a big help today. She really was. And we got this massive grocery haul. There's still a few things that I do want to get that I didn't get. Walmart shelves. I tried to record in there, but I just, I could not do it, guys. I'm so sorry I tried. Um, their shelves were actually really bare. They were really bare, like they didn't have stock people or I guess they just didn't get the stuff in to stock the shelves. So let me show you some of the stuff that I got and let's hop right into the video. So before we hop into the video, I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. So you know that I did a haul with a lot of Burlington clothes and stuff. I actually got this shirt from Burlington, guys. I love this shirt. It's super stretchy. And I got these pants from, look how high-waisted they are. Now, I am shorter. I'm 5'4", maybe 5'3 and a half, 5'4". We'll go with it. But I am a shorter woman, and these pants fit really, really well. They were super easy to put on. And when I pulled them out, like, I feel like the waist was, like, this little. And I was like, I'm not going to be able to fit these. I'm not going to be able to get into these. But they fit really, really, really well. I got these ones and a pair of burgundy ones. It came in a pack. So just wanted to show you the top. I, I didn't link this because I got this from Burlington. Um, but if you're interested in some really good plus size um, yoga pants or whatever, workout pants, I do have these linked in my Amazon store and definitely go check it out. You get two in a pack, I think for 20 something dollars, if I'm not mistaken. They fit amazing. I don't have those Megan knees anymore. <laughs> I used to, but they really do fit really, really good. And I'm super pleased. So just wanted to tell you that. So I'm going to try to go a little fast, guys, because I have a lot of stuff here on the table and like I said there's stuff on top of stuff so I need to put this stuff up anyway I got some lactose free milk and I usually always buy the great value brand so I got that I'm just moving stuff out of the way some sour cream I want to try this um, traditional guacamole mild so this is the Herdez brand I'm gonna try it and if I like it great if I don't whatever it is what it is then I used to love beef stew. Why won't this focus? I don't know. Anyway, so I bought two cans of beef stew and I'm thinking that over maybe some rice or something like that might be really good. We'll see. But I went to the grocery store hungry and I just picked up some stuff. So you know how that goes. So I got two things of 2% milk. I got a lot of meat because I wanted to stock the um, deep freezer. So I picked up three of the long... Um, ground beefs so one and i'll show you there's two three under there i picked up two bags of the boneless chicken breasts and here's the second one right there i picked up two bags of the seasoned french fries um anyway i picked up some bleach that bleach is small this was five dollars it was like 480 like that's a shame that's all i'm gonna say that's that's really a shame so anyway i picked up two 200 packs of paper plates one and two and then I bought a big thing of cups down here and let me just tell you a really quick little um, story so I had three carts of food guys that's how much food I had three carts and so the cashier was trying to help me out and she was really sweet she was really sweet and so she grabbed the paper bags and I know you can't tell but right up like right up in here it's ripped so some of the cups fell out 
and she handed me the bag she was like oh shoot here you go and then she picked up the cups and tried to stick them back into the bag she's like these fell out now i heard them fall because you know how paper cups plastic paper cups or whatever sound when they hit the floor i heard them fall so thank goodness i was watching and i was like no like i you know how you scream loud i didn't mean to i think she was like <laughs> i think she was shocked i don't know and she was younger too and i felt bad i'm like no 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 don't put those in there sorry don't put those in there but that's that's disgusting that don't do that <laughs> and so she's like oh okay um oh, oh, okay so but yeah so i i had to catch that thank goodness <laughs> like don't put those dirty cups back in there contaminate and everything so but anyway back to what i got so i told y'all that i had two bags of boneless chicken breast i got two bags of the drumsticks and then I also, you'll see, I think I got two bags of thighs as well. But moving along, I got to get these wrapped up. Oh my gosh. <sighs> anyway, I bought two bags of the family size beef fajitas. Again, the kids really like this. And so I make that, I don't know, maybe twice a month now. I think that's, that's what I'm going to be averaging. Anyway, I bought, I stocked up on some, um, frozen fruit frozen vegetables sorry so I bought six things of the broccoli and cauliflower and then I bought six things of the mixed vegetables and really this is uh like I said we usually use two bags per meal so if you don't know I am married I have six kids my oldest is 23 and I have five that still live here in the home ranging from 16 to 7 so the kids all do virtual learning so they all eat breakfast lunch and dinner and they eat multiple snacks per day so if you're wondering matter of fact just don't don't wonder don't mm -mm. um lately i've just been in a block and delete kind of mood a delete and block kind of mood um so i apologize guys but i'm just being real so i went grocery shopping this is some of the stuff i got i do for the majority of the time, I will make lunch and dinner, breakfast. Sometimes I'll go all out for the kids. And then sometimes they'll eat cereal or oatmeal or fruit and yogurt, such, such and such. So anyway, I did buy, usually with the Noor's rice sides, I buy two of the same. I buy at least two because um, my family, we I make two if I make a meal. So I bought the herb and butter, which I really like. I bought the Spanish rice. And then I bought chicken and broccoli. I bought, um, oh, I bought another herbs and rice. And then I know I got another chicken and broccoli, um, chicken one somewhere around here. And then again, I have three things of um, the ground meat. And I do like to put the ground meat in these bags. And oh, here's the other one of the chickens. And then I also bought some smoked sausage. And what I'm going to do probably is just cut this up and put it in a freezer bag to make it a little easier to use. Um, I might cook this sometimes for breakfast or I might cook this and um, put it on top of some of the rice as a simple. That's like a super simple, easy meal, guys. And um, maybe give the kids um, some vegetables to go with it, like some broccoli and cauliflower or I could do the mixed vegetables or you can do like a side salad on the side something like that super duper simple I grabbed two things of bacon and I should have grabbed more because I'm thinking tomorrow I'm going to do some loaded baked potatoes and I want to do bacon broccoli and cheese and broccoli cauliflower and cheese something like that uh, maybe some sour cream and so forth in the baked potatoes I don't know but that's one of my thoughts. So I should have brought more because I'm going to use one pack of bacon per meal. That's what I mean. So this is only going to be one pack of bacon per meal. And maybe with the other pack of bacon, I'm going to have to get some more. I'll do like a hamburger, um, cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger meal. I'll do something like that. So I bought some more halos because the kids crushed these. I think I got like three left. And that was just last week. I think I bought those last week. I'm never upset if they eat fruit. You know, they can eat as much fruit as they want. They kind of can decide how much fruit is good. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, if they want to get eat two apples or two halos at a time or whatever, that's not a bad thing. So I brought, ooh, I brought um, a two-pack of Philadelphia cream cheese. 
I also bought two Heinz tomato ketchups. Um, <laughs> okay, so let me tell you really quickly. Uh, so I went to school, got a degree, yay. I've always had really good jobs um, that pay well, but unfortunately in 2016 maybe, um, I had lost my job and it was paying very well and then I just took full advantage of un unemployment and um, then I was off for like a month or so before I found another job. Unfortunately, I found another job but it only paid half of what I was making previous. So there were times that me and the kids ate peanut butter and jelly. We ate a lot of noodles. Um, we ate a lot of just a lot of very inexpensive, quick foods, meals, you know, um, hot dogs and pork and beans and so forth. And so I was buying the generic ketchups and, you know, all of that. So Big Chris was like, and I still do that. I have to tell myself, but Big Chris was like, Siobhan, Siobhan, he was like, it's okay to buy name brand stuff again. You have the money. And I was like, no, 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 mm -mm, no. We, we're we used to it. We're, I was like, kids, don't y'all like such and such? And they're like, mm -mm. <laughs> But it, So anyway, so one of the things that he said is, can I please buy the name brand bread, Heinz ketchup, and Schmucker's jelly? I was dying. Those are like the top three things he said, can I buy? So I just wanted to restock the Heinz ketchup. I really don't mind the oldies ketchup, the oldies jelly, the oldies bread and stuff. I honestly don't mind. Um, but, you know, trying to be considerate and compromise and everything. But I, I did laugh a little. He was like, you have enough money to buy name brand. So, <laughs> anyway, I bought some Ortega tortillas. And these are the flour tortillas. I bought two of these. You get ten in a pack. I do plan on making some, um, maybe some, uh, what is it called, enchiladas or something like that. I made those before the kids really liked them and I can't remember quesadillas whatever I, I know quesadillas are different than enchiladas but um, I'll be using these nonetheless so then I saw this and I said oh maybe I, I want to try this for our popcorn because I did buy snacks for the kids but I am going to try to limit their snacks as much as I possibly can and also give them some other alternatives for snacks. So anyway, popcorn is a, a good snack. It can be a lighter snack, if that makes sense. So I said I'm going to try this ranch popcorn seasoning. I know you can't. Yeah, ranch popcorn seasoning. These were $1.99, I believe, at Walmart. They weren't more than $1.99. So I bought the, the ranch one. It says, shake up your popcorn, guys. We'll see. I bought this one, the garlic parmesan and this one, the white cheddar. So we're gonna try it and see if we like it, great. If we don't, you know, I'm out of $2. I mean, it is what it is. So then we saw these Martha White, and these are um, muffin mixes. These were like 88 cents a piece. So Kinsley and I and um, Cadence and London, possibly Yana, might do a little bit of baking and they've been really into, they want to bake and stuff. So I was like, oh, this is good. So I bought the chocolate chip muffin mix, the strawberry muffin mix. And they said that these make about 19 muffins. It said it on here, 18, oh, 18 mini muffin cups. So I don't have many muffin cups, but we'll see how many they make. I'm not even, like I said, they were only 88 cents. So I bought strawberry and then I bought strawberry cheesecake. They were only 88 cents. I'm not going. If they only make 10, I guess that's pretty good. I mean, they don't need a whole bunch of muffins, right? So then I bought some Xanaran chicken fry mix. Never tried it before, but this is a Southern buttermilk chicken um, mix. I just want to try it. And then I saw this, and I, I absolutely hate hot stuff. I hate sour candies, anything sour, and I hate hot food. But the kids love that, what is it, Flaming Hot. So this made me laugh. So I bought this um, Cheetos Mac and Cheese Flaming Hot. Little Chris was like, oh yeah, we could try this. Yana was like, that's disgusting. So I'm going to make it and let them see if they like it. And then I bought this one, Cheesy Jalapeno. And whatever. If they like it, great. If they don't, <laughs> I don't really care. But I said I'm going to try it because obviously somebody like it if they're making it. Mm. I bought some Nesquik. The kids love chocolate milk. I just took all five of them. They had doctor's appointments. Um, Ayana was Tuesday. The twins were Wednesday. And London and Chris was Thursday. So 
they all had doctor's appointments and um, the doctor was talking about how much milk they should have consumed in a day and so forth which they're all on track they're all doing well I love my babies yay moving on I got some Xanarans New Orleans fish fry this is the crispy um, southern fish fry I just said I want to try it why not and then I got two things of strawberries I bought some hamburger buns and some hot dog buns over there and then I bought the spinach and um, spring mix right there and I'm thinking about possibly making some spaghetti and as a side have the salad on the side I did buy a big 18 count of the Danimals smoothies and then I bought some beef bone broth and I bought some chicken bone broth and I picked up another bag of the jasmine rice and I really like the jasmine rice guys I don't know I don't know I have regular rice I have um, whole wheat whole grain long grain rice I ha I've tried them all I'm I love rice I, I'm a rice girl that's why you see the Nors um, and I'm just a rice girl. I would prefer rice over mashed potatoes. I mean, that's crazy, right? Whatever. So, anyway, I bought some jasmine rice. And I usually buy my jasmine rice from Aldi. But I picked this up from Walmart. So, we're going to try it. And let's see. Moving right along. I have two bags of chicken thighs. And I bought me a pound of the American cheese from the deli. The kids like this better than the craft singles I still buy craft singles because it to me it's just it's it is what it is you can put it on a sandwich and it's good to go I bought a pound of chipped ham for um, quick lunches and then I bought a pound of bologna it was only a dollar and 78 cent guys growing up growing up I absolutely love bologna who else love bologna? Let me know in the comments. Now, I absolutely hate turkey. I've always hated turkey. I'm not eating a turkey sandwich. Ugh. Sorry, guys. I just don't like it. I feel like turkey is slimy. Is that just me? I don't know. But I don't like turkey. <laughs> so, anyway, so when I was at the deli, I was like, you know what? Give me some bologna because the kids wanted me to buy Lunchables. And I'm like, I'm not buying no Lunchables. I can cut y'all up some bologna or give y'all some ham, some cheese, some crackers. Give y'all a cookie and a juice and y'all are good to go. That's a, that's a Lunchable. Give y'all some fruit. That's a lunch right there. A dollar and 78 cent. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments saying lunch bologna is all types of meat put together. It doesn't. Hot dogs is all type of meat put together. Guess what? I don't really care because I like hot dogs and I like bologna. So, I'm just telling you what I got. <laughs> I got some more eggs. Um, I watch Eusenia's A Mom's Life. And she made these keto. They're just egg, egg, um, what are they? Like egg muffins. But they have eggs, ham, some um, onions and green peppers. I think that's all she put in there. She might have put in something else. But, um, y'all know that I love eggs. I can eat eggs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks. I love eggs. So I always pick up more eggs. And I was like, you know what? I want to make those. I bet you the kids would, would eat those. The only one that doesn't eat eggs is Cadence. So we have to accommodate my baby there. So I bought some Cheetos, popcorn, cheddar. And yes, that's because I was in the store and I was hungry. And I don't even, now that I'm home and I've had dinner, I don't even have a taste for them, which is crazy. Not saying that I won't. I may. And then I bought two bags of the mini family size pretzels. Bought two of those. I bought two things of bread. Oh, here's another. Oh, that's why. Okay, so I did put this one in a bag. Somebody must have took it out the bag. That's okay. But I bought two bags of seasoned french fries. And then moving on, I bought some of this Olivio. Um, this is olive oil real taste or real butter taste and it said it was real butter I hope it's real butter I don't even know I, I don't know but I bought this hoping that it was real butter but maybe I I tricked myself um every now and then I don't eat toast and stuff very often but um sometimes you want toast and I want bread that's I want butter that's spreadable so I bought that I bought some of these hash browns I haven't bought these in a while and so I was like oh that would be nice breakfast for the kids. 
and then I bought some of these extra flaming hots London they all like those I bought some Twizzlers um, because I was hungry <laughs> I bought some Oreos I bought some Chips Ahoy um, again these are my kids they eat breakfast lunch and dinner they have snacks it's a part of life so don't come for me in the comments talking about I got too much sugar or whatever the case may be the kids got to eat and this is what I'm going to feed them and yeah they also eat grapes they eat strawberries they eat apples they eat string cheese they eat applesauce they eat jello they eat pudding um, I, don't, I don't even know so they eat they eat food <laughs> And I do not, I know you guys may think this, but I really don't show you every single time I go to the grocery store. I don't. Sometimes I come home and I'm just tired and I'm like, let's put this food up. I really don't. So no, I don't have any celery here. I can show you, I do have onions, I have green peppers, I have extra spinach, I have fish, I have salmon, I have shrimp. Um, I have other stuff here in the house. This is not all consuming for us. There is a whole bunch of stuff that I have here, guys. So please, please be kind with your comments. Or just like the video, and I'm, I'm very appreciative of that. So we have the goldfish, which is London's favorite little snack. And then we have some Ritz crackers. I bought those specifically to make their homemade Lunchables. Um, Big Chris wanted some Starburst. And... And it's funny because when the twins were little, they used to call those Star Wars. They're like, can we have some Star Wars? That's how we, we use those to help them with potty training. And they have always loved the Starburst. But like I said, when they were little, they said, can we have some Star Wars? It was so cute. I bought the um, foot, what is it called? Foot longs or fruit, fruit roll-ups, something like that, guys. And let's see. They did not have any more of the Febreze. I mean, they did not have any more of any any Febreze guys their stocks their shelves were bare so I bought this great value Hawaiian fabric refresher it was four dollars I do like the Hawaiian smell I've smelled it before in their plugins never the spray but I'm gonna try it and then I bought some of this downy romantic guys oh gosh this stuff smells so freaking good I got the biggest one it's the 14.8 ounce and it smells so so good oh I just love it I can't wait to like pull my clothes out the drawer and smell them out does anybody else do that I don't know okay <laughs> so I bought some Febreze air this is spring what is this spring and renew it's a value pack look at that do you see that clear I was like clear I never seen a bottle like this before but I want to keep one down here one upstairs and then I also bought the pet odor eliminator um it's unfortunate that the house just isn't that big, so I don't have a lot of places to put their litter box. I wish I had a big bathroom where I could stick their litter box in there or whatever, but I really don't. So it is what it is, and sometimes you want to spray like to hopefully el eliminate some of the odor, if you get what I'm saying. After It's normally just like right after they go. During the day and stuff, we don't really smell it, but it's normally like after they go. I know that's too much information. Anyway, moving on. I got some... Um, Frontera taco skillet sauce. I'm gonna try this. I never tried this one before. I tried their fajita sauce, which they were all out of, but I never tried their taco. So I figured the fajita is really good. So let's try the taco. So then I bought some crystal light and the peach mango. And that's for myself, the crystal light, the grape. And then I bought a wild strawberry. And then for the kids, they had this, what is this? True lemon. And this is pink lemonade, and it says for kids, so I figured um, they have water bottles. I might give them that, and maybe they'll get maybe a cup of juice or um, some milk, that, you know, once a day, like a, a glass of chocolate milk or something. And then they could have mostly water. That was my thought process. We'll see how it goes. And then I bought blue raspberries. So I just bought, it's 10 in a pack, so... We're going to try it. I bought some bagels. The kids have been loving. I've been making them egg. Oh, I ain't buy no sausage. Ooh, I'm going to have to get that. But I've been making them like an egg, sausage, and cheese bagel. And they absolutely love it. I bought some more bread. So I bought two bags. 
of two loaves of bread and then this one is the fruit punch so i bought fruit punch oh, can't talk fruit punch blue raspberry and pink lemonade for the kids thousand island dressing which i absolutely love i bought some cheese excuse me i bought some um kobe and monterey jack mozzarella mild cheddar I bought these because I want to try it. I've tried almost every type of yogurt. I've, fro I've frozen it before because um, people are like, just try it frozen. I've, I've mixed it with stuff. I don't know. I'm just not a yogurt fan, but I'm going to try this. This says the Oi Layered. It's the cherry strawberry, cherry cheesecake, sorry, cherry cheesecake layered dessert. I don't know. Um, I did not look at the calories. It's 290 calories, which is a lot for this little tiny thing. But, um, grams of sugar, total grams is 19. That's a lot for some yogurt. Um, and we shall see. I'm still going to try it. I'm going to try it. And I do like that they come in these little glass jars. Anywho, I bought some gogurt for the kids. I bought the Schmuckers, um, strawberry jam that was requested. I bought some enchilada sauce, two, um, jars of that. I bought... Three, six, nine, ten things of beef ravioli because the kids like that. London and the twins will eat that. Then I said I'm going to try this extra flavorful. I know it's not going to focus, but extra flavorful ragu chunky sauce. It's a six cheese. So I bought four jars of that. I'm going to try it if we like it. I'm not one of those people that um, I have to have the same exact spaghetti sauce all the time. Every time I make spaghetti, it's different. Every single time. I try, for the most part. But I would like to try different things. I like to try different sauces. Um, I like to mix in. Maybe I'll do um, ground meat and pepperoni. Or ground meat and maybe um, meatballs or whatever. Like, I'll try different things. So, again, if we don't like it, i try to make a middle note not to buy it again. So, the kids really like these Juicy Burst... Um, what are they like uh fruit snacks yeah so then i bought some popcorn granola bars and then i bought a variety pack of pringles and then moving on i got some this is the vanilla yogurt so this is the vanilla raisins um yogurt what is it called yogurt covered raisins so I bought vanilla and I bought chocolate. I bought two and two. I never bought these before. I usually buy, I have raisins in the cupboard. I love raisins. The kids, um, they'll eat them. They're, it's not one of the first things they go to. But when they saw yogurt covered, they were like, oh yeah, we want these. Oh, I bet you do. <laughs> anyway, so I bought um, some cereal. More than enough. So I bought two Captain Crunch, uh, no, two Cinnamon Toast, a thing of Cheerios, which they'll eat these like snacks. So they'll put them in a baggie and eat these Cheerios like a snack. And um, some Oops All Berries and some Frosted Flakes. And I know I got another Oops All Berry. I'm going to have to find that. And that is, I bet you any money. I know I got more stuff in the, in the car. Oh my gosh, the frustration. So I bought two cases of water. The other one is in the truck and this one opened up. I bought a case of the Canada Dry Zero Sugar. That is me doing my best not to drink ginger ale, but still drinking ginger ale. I bought a bag of potatoes and then I bought some juice. So I bought some Tropicana, I bought some orange juice and then I bought these are the V8 splashes. I bought six V8 splashes and then two Country Time strawberry lemonades. So that is what is going on right here. I have to run back to the car because I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, I checked and that was everything. I did buy me some more slippers and so last but not least, I bought these cute little slippers. And these were $13.99. I have a thing with slippers, guys. I love, <laughs> I love slippers. I hate for my feet to be cold. Hate it. And then I bought these cute little boots right here. And to me, these are like, I, I don't know. They're just something to throw on super quickly. Like if I'm going to the foot doctor or something. These were, I think these were $19.99, guys. They're called the Mucklucks. 
cozy up your life. I don't know. At first, I was going to use these as my house slippers, which I still might. Anyway, these, I bought those. They're gray. They're just something cute to throw on. And I really, really, really like these. And they're super comfortable and super soft. I just bought some off of Amazon, some cute slippers. And I wore them for like three days and they ripped. And so those are going back. And so I wanted to get some more. So, yes. Thank you guys for watching. I love y'all to the moon and back. I hope that this gave you some ideas to go shopping. I know watching grocery hauls for me gives me ideas of what to cook. Sometimes some things to buy. Yeah, babe. I want to tell you guys something. Buy me slippers. Really? If you buy me slippers, I'll give you my phone. Buy me slippers. Quit. Bye. Don't t don't do that. Bye. Right, hey. Bye. Sorry. Bye. 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 Me slippers. You have slippers. I don't. They're gone. What happened to them? Just buy me new ones. Okay, I'm gonna edit that out. Okay. No, no, don't, 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 don't. Shh. Buy me new ones. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching. You know I love you to the moon and back and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.